And so, God separates your spirit unto himself. And that is the first layer of what? Sanctification. And what that means is that the penalty of sin has been destroyed. Because the idea behind the sanctification of the spirit is to destroy the penalty of sin. The idea behind the sanctification of the soul, on the other hand, is to destroy the power of sin. So God has have sanctified your spirit. God is now sanctifying your soul. So the sanctification of the spirit is called justification, but the sanctification of the soul is called transformation or renewal. So the Holy Spirit and the Word now is trying to separate your spirit unto God. When he had to do with your spirit, God had the liberty to do it at salvation. But now that he has to do with your soul, God is requiring your cooperation. So he is still in the process of doing it. That's why sometimes you do something, the Holy Ghost comes to convict you and say, you shouldn't do this. This is wrong. And if you heed to the voice of the Holy Spirit, you now discover that the power not to do it again is released into your spirit and you stop doing that thing. So that is God trying to sanctify your soul. He has made your spirit holy and so your spirit is justified and the penalty of sin has been removed. He is now trying to make your soul holy and that process is called renewal or transformation. And that's what you find in Romans chapter 12 from verse 2 where he said, in verse 1 particularly that present yourself because God cannot do this thing without your cooperation and he said be it transformed by the renewing of your mind is the Holy Spirit that is renewing your mind now the sanctification of the soul is to break the power of sin the sanctification of the spirit is to destroy the penalty of sin but the penalty of sin can be destroyed but the power of sin will still be there this is why many persons receive forgiveness, but they keep fornicating. In fact, when they want to appetize their soul, they will come and weep and weep and weep. And when that biochemical process is completed, they tear, they now wake up and say, thank you, Father. Well, it's not because of your tears that you were forgiven. You were forgiven because of the finished works of Christ. And you have to stop that childish behavior and wake up cooperating with the Holy Spirit to receive the power over sin. Because when the sanctification of the soul is completed, the power of sin will be completely broken. And then you have what we call the sanctification of the body. The sanctification of the body is what will happen at the rapture. That is what we call transubstantiation or transfiguration. This vile body will be destroyed. However, what the Holy Ghost is doing to the body now is to mortify it. Is to mortify it so it begins to regulate your appetite the bible said in um romans chapter 8 verse 13 he said that same spirit that raised up jesus from the dead he said he mortifies the deeds of the flesh and so all of that operation is god's attempt to sanctify your body this is why paul said i pray that the god of peace will sanctify you holy spirit which is justification or breaking of the penalty of sin soul which is transformation or renewal and then breaking of the power of sin and then bodily which is mortification of the flesh or taking away the presence of sin 